This video is sponsored by BuyCheapMuckCoins.com. Make sure you head on over there for all your Muck coin purchases. Use code GS5 for a discount at checkout. What up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? You boys just welcome back to another Madden 15 online gameplay. Today, we decided to go with the 49ers. If anybody doesn't know, that is our favorite NFL team. It's the Battle of California, baby. As our opponent decides to go with the Chargers. And he had a very interesting tough difficult offense to try and stop as you will see throughout the gameplay um his offense was definitely a handful definitely a handful and he definitely utilizes san diego for their tall receivers with floyd and gates as well so you know he comes out the gate you know passing the ball and um if used correctly the Chargers are very dangerous because like i said they have a lot of heights you know, like I said, Gates and Floyd and uh, don't they even have Alexander? I don't know. Just a lot of tall guys. And uh, he just did a very good job of moving the ball. Uh, big first down right there. Again, another pass to the flats. And he's no huddling as well. So that's also frustrating when I'm unable to go on ahead and switch a defense. And, you know, he's got me in a defense, which clearly he's been. It's FM, but he recovers. On third and three right here. He goes for a little shovel screen, but we do stop that. On fourth down, he decides to go for it, and thankfully, we end up stopping that inside wheel route, which he uh, went to a lot. Frank Gore, who has always been a glitchy man, just look at him, just shrugging off tackles. Uh, Got to be frustrating for him. There's nothing he can do about that. Just uh, Frank Gore just being Frank Gore, just shrugging off tackles. That's, that's just what he does. So, uh, again, you know, continue running the rock, you know, until he makes an adjustment. You know, we're going to continue running the ball. We're getting great yardage every single run. Here we go back to the run again. We pick up the first down. We're getting six, seven, eight yards of run right here. So, right here, we figure we'll dabble in a little pass just to sneak it in there. And uh, we end up going to Bolden, who shrugs off a tackle. Uh, looks like his knee might have died right there. But, nonetheless, we pick up the first down. Really quick pass to Bolden, which puts us on the one-yard line where we actually don't score right there. On third and go, we don't score, but he was offside. That gave us another opportunity, and we end up just doing a handoff to Gore, and we end up taking the lead, going up 7-0. So uh, after him driving pretty easily that first drive, I was like, okay, i am going to be a little worried. You know, just hopefully we can go ahead and uh, try and stop him, try and bottle him up. But, again, he's just doing a good job of uh, throwing everything quick. But look at the RB button. I just want to see you strip. Right now, that RB button, baby, is extremely dangerous. Again, we go back to Gore, and he is doing a monster. Look at him, man. Just doing a monstrous job of being able to break tackles, just shrug guys off of him like he's grease gating. And that puts us up 14 0. So now, so okay, you know, hopefully it's a little easier to go on ahead and, and win this game. And he did that a lot. The face catches were tough. Like I said, he had an outside wheel route, and he had a lot of route combinations that was just tough to you know pick up and stop everything again there he goes with the face catch and he's successful again with that outside wheel route and uh he had a custom playbook you know because he had i think the play he was running was like bills uh switch or bills and something like that where it's an outside wheel route and then i noticed he had some plays from like carolina and uh yeah like i said it was definitely uh, frustrating as he ends up scoring on that drive so but we do have the opportunity to continue to go up two possessions if we can just you know go tip or tap we're perfectly fine with that so uh as we're rhyming accidentally excuse me rhyming accidentally so right here on third and nine we need this first down to avoid a punt and thankfully stevie j comes up with the reception in traffic holding on to the ball being able to solidify that first down second and six right there we get a block shot right here just mistake by me i just felt the pressure got nervous and threw it out of bounds which was you know um a penalty so uh we're forced to punt after not being successful on that third down so uh right now again just still a little nervous man it's like every time i attempted to send pressure it wasn't working you know coverage just wasn't working and a beautiful punt though got him to about the eight yard four yard line excuse me so he's deep in his end zone right here um uh, again we're not getting any pressure just trying my best to guard everything he's running at us and uh we're just really not doing that good of a job of you know trying to stop him uh, right there, thankfully, all those broken tackles lost him a gain of six. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, goes to the right stop. <coughs> excuse me, dang. Go to the right side, we bat that down, and then just really quickly up the seams, and he ends up picking up the first down. Um, I Just not stopping him on crucial downs. We're getting him to third downs and fourth downs, just not being able to stop him. Uh, goes towards the flats right there, and again, he's just 
doing a good job, man. I don't think the score is reflecting on how good his offense is playing at this point. Beautiful inside juke by me. Just bad play going for it. It's unnecessary hits. You know, I, I got to recognize the time and just keep him in front of me. You know, um, another quick little check down. He's already pretty much in field goal range at this point. Uh, he's hitting the flats right there. Throwing behind him. Thankfully, we'll take that because that would have been another five or six yards. Uh, goes over towards the right. He definitely messed up the user right there. Third and 10 right here. He goes back to his favorite play, that face catch wheel route. And thankfully, uh, he drops it. So on fourth and 10, maybe he's in focal range. I'm not sure. But uh, we sent some pressure and finally it comes in right here. We tried a quick screen play. All we really want to be able to do is try our best to see if we can go on ahead and get in field goal range. So in second and five right here, we could really use a big play, and unfortunately, nothing happens there. So this is our last opportunity to see if we can get a huge play, and definitely a little forced, but, you know, hey. So fourth and five, fourth down swagger tree, man. Uh, you know, we could have tried to help Mary at that point, because that would have taken more than two seconds, but punt the ball, play it safe, going to have time with the ball, up 14 to seven. So this right here is a very important possession. We have to score right here to go up two possessions, and I really, really, really need to score because... I'm not confident in my defense. Even though I have one of the best defenses in the game, I'm really not confident in me being able to get a key necessary stop because uh, it's not like I'm causing him to uh, mess up on offense. He's just messing up himself. You know, he's got people open all over the damn place. First and 10 right here. We back up, try to go to the screen. And this time, uh, you know, we have guys in front of us and we get a huge gain right there with Hunter. And he's just really having trouble stopping the run. You know, uh, he's coming out in like quarters, you know, a lot of few men um running the ball right here try to just run the ball on third and seven uh thinking maybe i can make it a little easier of a field goal but uh we don't gain anything but nonetheless we end up kicking the field goal anyways and we end up going up two scores so that right there was big even if he does score we shall get the ball back with uh the lead so uh, another missed tackle by me i'm just because with the 49ers they have so much hip power everywhere i'm trying to take advantage of that and i'm just hit sticking like crazy and i'm missing a lot of uh easy tackles so, right, he stands in the pocket. He just throws a rubber ducky straight down the field, which was unsuccessful. Third and 10 right here. Again, goes for the face catch, and this time he gets it. And that is just frustrating. It's 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 frustrating, man. It it really is. The tall bastards are just going up, even though he's dropped, he dropped most of them. But, you know, they weren't really batted down or anything like that. He's getting his hands on the passes. Fourth and goal, he decides to settle for three points, keep it a one-possession game. And again, we have the same mentality as last drive, just getting field goal range. If we score, that is great, but it's not necessary. You know, all we want to do is get in minimum field goal range, go on ahead and tack on another score to go up two possessions. So we try a run right up the middle right here, and, you know, nothing. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter. Again, we go back to the run because we were having a lot of success. I was hoping he clicked on and got a little, you know, uh tackle happy and missed but unfortunately he never did but we do pick up the third down uh conversion which gave us uh opportunity to continue the drive third and seven and that right there was just a bad third and 12 excuse me bad throw by me bad throw by me and not only is it a bad throw it leads into a pick six and i'm thinking to myself you you've got to be kidding me why would i throw he was clearly covered the entire way just forced it um it's that tunnel vision where i was looking for him i didn't even look at my other reads and uh, we paid the price for it. So uh, now, again, get in field goal range. Try and kill some clock right here. Nice little spin move right there by Crabtree. Gets us to about midfield right there. So here we go back to the run. Trying to kill as much time as possible. Nice spin move. Possibly got us, uh, you know, an extra two yards that we possibly couldn't have had. Uh, right here, again, back to the flats with Crabtree. And at this point, man, he's going to have to start wasting his time. Unfortunately, we go out of bounds right there, uh, which sucks. But, um, you know, he's going to be run committing, I, I assume, right here. Uh, second and 14, he has one timeout left. Um, and we run the ball on third and 10, and we settle for a field goal. And we are just going to leave it up to our defense. He has no timeout, 16 seconds remaining. I feel confident not being able to allow him to get in field goal range. Uh, we have to stop his face catches, though, which, of course, he is going to attempt to go to. And, uh, again, gets his hands on it, but he drops it. Second and 10, again, he goes back to the face throw. This time, I'm manually over there, and uh, it's overthrown. Third down and 10. He goes really quickly uh, to the right side, but he gets tackled in bounds, and he ends up losing the game. So that's the end of the game, guys. It was a struggle, but nonetheless, we come up with the victory. It's your boy, GS. We're going to be signing out. Peace.